Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. Today I started off the morning with an 8.15 Orange Theory class. Usually I go at 9.30, but today I went to the 8.15 one and I feel good. I'm like glad that it's not like noon right now because I feel like whenever I get out, it's like already 11. Then by the time I shower, it's already 12. I just feel like I never know where the day goes and I definitely need to start getting up earlier, but it was so hard this morning. I was still tired in Orange Theory. Tomorrow is an exciting day because I am going to Orlando. And if you guys don't know, I went to UCF and I'm going back to visit and see all my friends go to visit my sorority, eat. So I'm gonna have like a big cheat weekend, but pretty much this was like what I was like working out for this weekend. I wanted to look really, really great. And I'm excited that it's here. I feel a lot better about myself, but also I'm getting my period this week. So that means I'm gonna be bloating a lot and that's obviously not gonna make me feel great <laughs> today is going to be a full day of errands packing getting everything cleaned up i want to leave this apartment looking spick and span ryan's going to be here this weekend um so i just want to like not leave it in a mess because i feel like that's rude and i wouldn't like if he did that to me right now i'm going to take sophie out because she just ate um i didn't feed her like before i went to orange theory because i did not trust her and i didn't have enough time to take her out so i didn't trust her she would have like definitely pooped in the house. My apartment complex also just got this Starbucks thing. I don't know if it's been there ever since because I didn't really go into like this little kitchen that they have in the lobby but I just found out about it and they have like all these different coffees but I don't really love coffee but they also have a chai latte so I'm gonna go get that and like put it in the fridge and save it for later. Actually I might bring my own cup because I feel like that's smart. I might do that. So I have yet to eat something and it is currently 10.56. I'm not feeling anything too heavy, um, but I also really want to get my nails done. So I need to eat fast so I can go do that. Or maybe I should start packing first and like then reward myself. Uh, I dread packing. Like I am the worst at it. I overpack. It's just a very hard task for me and I get very distracted easily. So... We will see how this day goes, but I feel like I'm going to be packing like for five hours, which cannot be a thing today because there's too much to do. So I have my last bit of laundry in the dryer and I'm going to start folding the colors and stuff, but um, then I'm going to pack and I actually just kind of put on a lot of my outfits that I want to wear this weekend um, just to kind of see what goes together, what I need, like a belt or like accessories or shoes and stuff. Um, and then I like take pictures of them and then I like make sure I have everything in that photo packed. Um, and I'm gonna try to bring my smaller suitcase and not my huge massive one because it is only like the weekend so I know I don't really need a big one but we'll see if I can like actually pack everything in that small suitcase um, but I'm gonna see what I need from the laundry because I I feel like I don't need anything but maybe like a couple of pajamas you know underwear bras basic I'm also gonna watch Bachelor in Paradise while I fold um, I just started watching Bachelor in Paradise I've been watching the Bachelor franchise for so long I think the first season I ever watched was Jake Pavelka's, I think that's his last name. Um, fun fact, the girl that won Vienna, she was a Katie alum from my chapter. So she actually came to um, Katie one day when I was there and I was like, oh my God, the Bachelor finale is like next Monday. You should totally come and watch it with us. And she did. So she told us like all the secrets. It was like, honestly, probably the coolest thing in the world. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's when I started watching, like, Bachelor and Bachelorette, but I've never seen Bachelor in Paradise, so I'm giving it a shot this year because everyone says it's way better than Bachelor and Bachelorette. Let me know what y'all think about it. Okay, I didn't know that it's Monday and Tuesday, or maybe it's a new thing, but I think that's kind of weird that, like, I don't know, 
it's like two hours per episode and I always made like Monday my bachelor Monday you know and like would sit down and like watch it but I don't know like four hours a week of this freaking show that's like honestly too much so I didn't watch it yesterday because I was like okay maybe I will just see the recap of the next show next Monday and <laughs> Then I saw like this really random tweet that this guy, I guess on Bachelor Paradise, tweeted some drama and then I was trying to see who it was about and I couldn't find it. So here I am watching the freaking show just because of that freaking tweet. So, all right, back to laundry. This is the suitcase that I'm probably going to bring. It smell good? Yeah? Um, hopefully I can fit everything in here. I know y'all are probably watching this and being like, how can you not fit everything you need in there? You're going for like three days. And I'm like, you're right girl, I am. <laughs> but I'm an overpacker, so that's my issue. But we're gonna try it. If it doesn't fit, then I will just transfer it into a bigger suitcase. All right, let's get started. So I'm pretty much all packed up. I definitely cannot fit everything in the suitcase, so I think I might steal Ryan's duffel. But I think I'm gonna wait till he comes home because he's really good at packing and maybe he can like help me rearrange some stuff to make, be able to fit in the suitcase. Because I personally hate duffels because they don't have wheels on them. So it would definitely be a lot easier to have a suitcase with wheels. Um, but literally this whole time I've been cleaning, doing laundry, about to empty the dishwasher, just kind of getting last minute chores done. And then I'm going to treat myself and get my nails done for the first time in so freaking long. I'm so excited. And I hope I find a good place this time because the last two times I went in Austin to get my nails done, they were not great. I got my nails done. I did tiramisu for two. Give you a little close up. It looked a lot darker in there and I was like so worried. I was like, this is not tiramisu for two because if you use OPI, you kind of like know the names of the nail polishes you always use. So I knew I liked this one, but I feel like it's just a little bit more pinky. And I honestly feel like sometimes the dip powders aren't exactly like the actual nail polish, if that makes sense. I just feel like they're a little bit off, so I don't know. But I got those done. I got dip on my fingers and then I got funny bunny gel on my toes. I feel like a woman, honestly, because I have not gotten my nails done in so long. I was trying to save money, but honestly, I feel like this is a good occasion. Like, seeing all my peeps again, I wanna look pretty and feel good, so excited about that. I think I'm gonna take a chill break, sit on the porch, and drink my chai. I put it in this little tumbler that Ryan had, and I put it in the fridge because I don't really like hot drinks. I don't know why, but I just like to drink them cold. I'm honestly really hungry too, and for the first time ever, Ryan didn't want to eat at five, which is so weird. I'm interested to see what he had for lunch because I packed him some butter chicken. So I wonder if he went out for lunch and maybe that's why he's not hungry. But I'm gonna go out on the porch and chill for a little bit, um, come back in, and then I think we're going swimming when he comes. So this week we haven't been eating the healthiest because we're kind of trying to get rid of some food we already have and just not spend money when we don't need to. So we didn't do any grocery shopping this week. We just had like leftovers and what we had. Um, but I am going to make us a snack since Ryan doesn't want dinner super early. So I'm making edamame and I got this from Trader Joe's. It's such a good snack to have so I'm going to microwave that. And then I also am going to make these little dumplings. I wish we had soy sauce, it would be so good, but I'm super excited to try these. Excuse my appearance, but this is what I look like when I get out of the shower. I have a little something something rising from the skin, so I'm trying to 
kind of just dried out with this glam glow mask i'll link it down below it's so good i know so many people that dry out their pimples with this glam glow mask and then tonight when i go to sleep i'm going to dab on the tea tree oil from briogeo on my problem area but this is the situation for now um unfortunately our freaking apartment didn't tell us like that the pool was going to be closed so when we got there it was literally like locked up with like those like bike lock things and i'm like what the heck like i would have appreciated like an email blast or something just so i wouldn't have gotten my hopes up like i literally didn't shower after orange theory because i knew we were gonna go swimming tonight and i could have just showered and gotten it over with but here we are pissed that i couldn't swim and i was actually planning on like tanning and like you know just chilling and relaxing but whatever life's life I'm gonna get over it. But now I'm cooking pasta with pretty much everything that we have left over. So I'm using the spinach, I'm using the mushrooms, I'm probably gonna put a little bit of chicken in there, some lemon, pasta, having whipping cream that I bought for the butter chicken and I was like, when am I ever gonna use this again? And it wasn't super cheap, so I'm glad I'm like actually making use out of it. So um, I'm making this like lemon mushroom spinach pasta, if you didn't get the hint. Um, but Ryan went to Target to get me some of those travel empty containers for my shampoo and conditioner. So thank God I have him because he's so nice and he just like doesn't mind like running errands like that um, while I cook dinner. So thank you, Ryan. You're such a sweet boy. Um, but I'm going to get back to cooking. I have to have all my attention on cooking. Otherwise, the meal will turn out burnt, I swear. All right, taste it. I want to see your reaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Scared. Why am I on What? I put yours on. Do you like it? Yeah. Really good. Lies. Thank you for always lying to me. I better be. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> 